Listen, what's happening? It's your boy Papa Doug. Listen, man, today we're finna talk about a real touchy topic. Yes, religion. And now, all you people that go to church every Sunday faithfully, I'm finna show y'all just where the whole Jesus concept was stole from. Check this video out. They said it was easily converted. So let's see how easy it was converted. Dr. Uh, John G. Jackson and his book, Christianity Before Christ, tells us, and even Church Ward tells us. Now, let's look at Horus. Horus had two mothers, Isis, the virgin who conceived him, Nephetite, who nursed him. He was brought forth singly as one of the five brothers. Let's look at the life of Jesus. Jesus had two mothers, Mary, uh, the virgin who conceived him, and Mary, the wife of Cleophas, who brought him forth as one of her children. Horus was the son of Seth, his father on earth. Jesus was the son of Joseph, his father on earth. Let's look at Horus now. Horus was with his mother, the virgin, until 12 years old when he was transformed into the beloved son, the God, as the only begotten of the Father in heaven. Jesus remained with the mother, the virgin, up until the age of 12 when he left her to be about his father's business. From 12 to 30 years of age, there is no record in the life of Horus. From 12 to 30 years of age, there is no record in the life of Jesus. <laughs> and Horus at 30 years of age became adult in his baptism by Newt. Jesus at 30 years of age was made a man in his baptism by John the Baptist. Horus in his baptism uh, made his transformation into the beloved son, the only begotten of the Father, the Holy Spirit, represented by a bird. Jesus in his baptism is hailed from heaven as the beloved son and the only begotten of the Father, the God, the Holy Spirit, that is represented by a dove. That's why they tell you right here, it was easily converted to veneration to the Mary and Jesus. And Jesus. Jesus was the light of the world. Horus was the light of the world. Jesus said he was the way, the truth, and the life. Horus said he was the truth, the life. Jesus was born in Bethlehem, the house of bread. Horus was born in Anu, the place of bread. Jesus was the good shepherd. Horus was the good shepherd. Seven fishes bought a boat with Jesus. Seven people bought a boat with Horus. Jesus was the lamb. Horus was the lamb. Jesus identified, uh, was identified with a cross. Horus is identified with a cross. Jesus was baptized at 30, Horus was baptized at 30. Jesus was the child of a virgin, Mary, Horus was the child of a virgin, Isis. The birth of Jesus was marked by a star, the birth of Horus was marked by a star. Jesus was the child teacher in the temple, Horus was the child teacher in the temple. Jesus had 12 disciples, Horus had 12 followers. Jesus was the morning star, Horus was the morning star. Jesus was the Christ, Horus was the Christ. Jesus was tempted on a mountain by Satan. Horus was tempted on a mountain by Set. By set. Do you reckon there's some uh, connection there? Um, do you reckon? Wow. Hope y'all paid attention to that video. Now, what I want y'all to understand is, do your own research on this. Because y'all already know the, Euro the Europeans stole all the knowledge from Egypt. Everything that you know. Please know that. Y'all think we just, they, we just started making condoms? No. They was making condoms out of fish intestines. They been having birth control. They was doing eye laser surgeries. These is facts. Facts. Don't you know to this day, they can't even figure out how the pyramid was built in Egypt. Not only that, they cannot figure out how precise it was built. Not only that, they cannot figure out how they got the stones on top of each other with no machinery. And not only that, they can't even pre like they can't even rebuild that pyramid today, cause there's no machinery that exists that can pick those type of blocks up as heavy as they are, stack them up as tall as they are, as tall as they are. Facts. So what this tells you? Start opening your head, man. To control people, you have to keep them in the dark. That's you. A lot of y'all think paying bills every 30 days is natural, but it's not. Far from it. We've been deceived in so many ways to it's like, y'all don't understand. I'm trying to wake y'all ass up, man. The whole story of Jesus has been stolen, just like everything else has been stolen. And like I say, do your research. If you're afraid to find out the person that you're worshiping or the you know, you're going to church every Sunday and you're doing this and you're, you're afraid to find out the truth. That's cowardly. 
And I understand you've been misled because we all have been misled. But to keep being misled, that's on you. I do believe in the most high. I, I know man ain't make the sun or the moon. But I also know ain't no white dude finna jump off the cross and save your black ass. So let's start with the BS and get to the program. Because the same people that control the religion, they control the prison system, they control the school system, they control finances, they control everything. So why in the hell would they give you true knowledge? Because like I told y'all, if I sit you down to a table and told you, let's play this game. If I gave you all the rules to the game, then I told you how this game is being played and why it's being played, how the hell can I deceive you? I have to mislead you. I have to tell you what it is necessary to tell you in order for me to carry out my hidden agenda. The world is ran by a bunch of satanic, greedy motherfuckers. And y'all better get on the motherfucking program because they control everything. They control the phone. They control social media. They control the food that you eat. Everything they monetize, they control. So all I'm saying is, I'm coming to you as a messenger. And I want you to understand, you have to open your eyes to see what the hell is going on. This ain't the only video I'm going to drop on this religion thing. I'm just opening y'all eyes a little bit. You dig what I'm saying? A lot of y'all real touchy about that topic, about that, that Jesus thing and that, and that religion. But like Park said, if y'all joke all know y'all going to heaven, why the hell y'all scared to die? Come on, man. A lot of these young folks ain't going for that shit, man. They know, they, they understand, man. Religion is a mind control tool. That's all it is. The things that they took out of the Bible, which was what? You could beat your slave as long as you don't kill him. Obey everyone, especially your master. And I want white folks to understand this, and it's not to be prejudiced. This is not to be speaking on color, none of that. But to see... Jesus depicted on the cross as a white man plastered over your mama house, your grandma house, auntie house, the church, you go to school. And to walk outside and see a white man walking up the street, it really made black folks feel that white folks were superior. And like, I really want white folks to understand that growing up as a young black boy, how devastating that was to, and so confusing that was to us. To see that, they had those pictures plastered all over the world for a reason, to deceive us. And that goes for white folks too. We all been deceived. If you're not a part of the 12 families or the, the groups that are trying to run the world and run all our monkey ass off of it, then you ain't my enemy and I ain't your enemy. But I'm just letting you know to see that, that was a very devastating devastating thing as a young boy. Because I thought white folks was more superior than black simply because the person we worshiping was white. But this is how you control millions of people. Y'all need to wake up, especially if you got kids. Stop being scared, stop being afraid. These things will talk to you for a reason. Turn the other cheek. Don't question God. You mean to tell me all this fuck shit going on? We who we can't question like what's going on? We just supposed to sit here and take this shit. Christianity, the only religion that you got to die to go to heaven. Every other religion speaks on heaven on earth. Y'all better open y'all eyes. You think God gonna punish me because I want to know the truth? God gave me common sense for a reason. And he gave it to you too. We've been deceived, man. Simply. And I know a lot of y'all feel the same way I feel. No matter what goes on, there's something in the back of your head telling you, man, something just ain't motherfucking right. How we going through all this AIDS ep epidemics? People dying of cancer. People dying from starvation. Well, God, you, you got to question that shit. But you been taught not to question God. But it ain't God you got to question, nigga. God in you, nigga. If you know your structure, if you knew how your how big your brain is, if you knew the melanin, and if you knew the like your your whole structure as a black melanated person, you wouldn't have to pray. You are God. So if you over there praying on your knees, and I'm over here holding this K like nigga, let's go. 
Who you think gonna get justice? Me or you? Come on, man. We ain't falling for that shit no more, man. Like I say, man, I believe in the most high, man. Like the Indians, man. The Indians prayed to everything because God is all and everything. I don't have to go to church. I don't have to be told by some preacher or some pastor. Hell, they out there doing their thing. And what y'all, most black folks say, oh, I still go to church even though he's funneling with little boys because God working through him. These are the things you've been taught. Like common sense to tell you wrong is wrong. So you mean tell me if I, I ain't going to say I because that ain't nothing I do. But you mean tell me if, a, if, if and which I asked somebody this before, if this preacher was fornicating with a little boy and I'm not implementing preachers doing that, I'm just saying, you mean tell me you still going to go to this church? Why? Because God working through him to get to you. And that's brainwash at its finest. Like I say, man, this ain't this ain't my only video I'ma drop, man. I'm just cracking y'all out a little bit. I got some more for y'all. And this is not to discredit nobody, man. Believe in what you want to believe in. But I'ma bring you that truth though. And this message came to you for a reason. So don't don't overlook it. Don't look the other cheek. Be smart. You are smart enough to understand the difference. God ain't gonna punish you because you want to know the truth. Stop going off what you've been told, research it for yourself and find out what's really going on. And when you start researching and you start opening your third eye, that's when you're going to start seeing what that but shit don't look like it. That shit don't look right. Not just religion, I'm talking about everything. This shit just don't look right. But anyway, you know, this your boy, man. We It's all love, man. We all here together, man, collectively, man. Y'all start putting out some information, man. Y'all might have, you know what I'm saying? We putting this shit out. We all we got. We got to start warring with each other, man. We got to start fighting each other. We got to start, like, just understand, bro. It ain't us. It's the 12 families. And I'm going to start dropping this knowledge on these families. I've been getting people hit me up about that. I'm going to show y'all and I'm going to expose these families and the secrecy that they do, the things that they do, and how long this shit has been going on. Yes, we're going to get on that. We're going to speak on the Masons. We're going to speak on the... All the secret societies, we're going to get on all that shit. Because y'all got to know the truth, man. And like I say, man, research this shit for yourself, man. It's the information age, man. You can get a lot of information from a lot of places. And like I tell y'all, I've been knowing this shit since I was 12 years old. So with that being said, man, y'all like, subscribe, comment, do what y'all do. Share this video. Don't be afraid, man. Because only a coward dies a thousand deaths. And remember... Bible is the greatest story ever told. And I don't fuck with you humans. It's your boy Papa Dope. Man, I appreciate y'all for checking out my videos, man. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, do what you do. Also, follow me on all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, because you do not want to miss new music, and you definitely don't want to miss another video. At the end of the day, we family, and I'm just trying to get you to open your eyes and see things in a different light. And like I tell y'all, I don't fuck with you humans. <laughs> you